The new Power Form Builder and Zapier integration brings a whole host of new opportunities for Weebly users to integrate their forms with their favorite apps. So this means that you can automate more of those tedious manual tasks so you have more time to spend on what's important for your business. In this video, we'll show you how to get started with Power Form Builder on Weebly and how to connect Zapier. So the first thing you'll want to do is add an app. Then search for Power Form Builder in the Weebly App Center. Once you've found it, click Add and then Connect. You'll then see Power Form Builder has been added to your list of installed apps. So then simply drag and drop Power Form Builder where you'd like to add it to your site. Then you'll see the Power Editor pop up. We'll just quickly go through and customize some of the form fields just so you can see how you can edit this yourself. So we've edited the title and we'll just edit one of the options here. But of course, you could change any of these form fields and set up your form to suit your needs. We'll just click through and save our form, make sure you name this something you can recognize for later. And now you can see the form is on the Weebly site. We'll publish it just so we can see how it looks on the live site. And the next step is to make sure we test our form, just to make sure all the form submissions are going through correctly. So we'll just do a test submission now. Now that's all submitted, let's go back to the Weebly site editor. Click on the form, the power form, to open the editor again. Now let's connect to Zapier. Go through to settings and you'll see that Zapier is integrated directly in the power form builder. So today we're going to connect Google Sheets to power form builder. And this enables you to collect all of your form submissions in real time in a Google Sheet, rather than manually having to export them from an email notification, for example. So click on Use this Zap, and this will open up Zapier. Now, I'm already logged into Zapier, but if you don't already have a Zapier account, you'll be prompted to create one. Or if you already have one, you can also log in at this point. Then it will take you to this page. Click on Create this Zap. This step tells you what the Zap trigger will be. So this will be any time you get a new form response. Then click Continue. Then select the Power account that you want to connect to. So this will be the same email address that you used uh, to sign into Weebly. So make sure you select this, test it, and then continue. At this step, you want to test the trigger to make sure that your form responses are going through and being picked up by Zapier. This is why we did a test forms submission just a little bit before. Click on Fetch and Continue. Now that the test was successful, we can continue. This step is telling us what we want the action to be. So the trigger was every time a new form response is submitted, we want to create a new spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. Click Continue. Now we need to connect to the Google Sheets account. In this case, this is my personal one. Click Save and Continue. The next step is to set up the Google Sheets spreadsheet rows. So first of all, select the spreadsheet that you would like to save your 
that you would like to save your uh, form responses to. I set one up earlier and then select the sheet. The next step is to match up all of the different columns with your form responses. So I want my first column to be the email address, the second to be option one, the third to be the tell us about yourself option, and the final one is either option A, B or C. So now that I've mapped my form fields with my spreadsheet columns, I'm ready to continue. Now I can send a test to my spreadsheet. And I'm ready to complete the zap. And now my zap is turned on and working. I can go back to Weebly. Now I'll open my spreadsheet to check that the form response went through. And you can see my test rows have automatically been populated. Now anytime a customer completes my form on my Weebly site, it will automatically be added to my Google Sheet so I can collect all my responses in real time. So this saves me a lot of tedious manual work and really helps me gain back some time. So this is just one example of the zaps that are available with the Power Form Builder and Zapier integration, but please check out our others and we hope you enjoy all the efficiencies you'll start to experience. Thank you.